There's more than 100,000 people on the transplant list, and most of these people are waiting for a kidney. Thousands will die on the list before ever being eligible to get one. And many experts say that there will never be enough human donors. That's why researchers are hoping genetically modified pig organs can help save lives. It's called xenotransplantation. Lauren Niergaard and Shelby Lum have been covering this process for many years now. They've captured the stories of researchers, patients, and the families of people who've donated their bodies to the cause. Most recently, they followed a woman named Tawana Looney, who's the longest to live with a pig kidney at 130 days. While the kidney was eventually removed, every xenotransplant teaches researchers something. So one of the risks, of course, is that this will fail. The doctors will all say those first four were actually not failures because of how much they learned from each one of those patients. They will, they will tell you those are names that will go down in medical history because they learned from each and every one of them. For so many people living on dialysis, being in the chair several times a week, it is just not the best quality of life. They don't feel good. They aren't able to do the things they want to. And so there are people who are really interested in being part of these early studies. Shelby, Lauren, and I sat down to talk about xenotransplantations, the patients behind them, and how the research has evolved. Listen to the story behind the AP story at apnews.com.